One day in class, a young boy named Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. He opened them one by one, and this is what they said. Hey, Duncan, it's me, the Red Crown. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of the other crowns. All year long, I wear myself out, coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else. That's right. I have to work on the holidays. I have to call all the Santas at Christmas. But all my heart's on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. You overwork, friend. Wake up. Dear Duncan. All right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crown for grapes, dragons, and wizard's hats. But it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines, I'm going to completely close it. You're very neat, friend. Dear Duncan. I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud of that. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair he gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies while the only things I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. Let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring Wheat! Your beige friend, beige crayon. Duncan, you great crown here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants. And I know that elephants are gray. But that's a lot of space to color. And all by myself. I don't even get me started on hippos and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things. Such big animals. Baby penguins are great too, you know. So are very tiny rocks. Pebbles are called. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? You're a very tired friend. Gray crown. Yeah, Duncan. You color me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the color of the same page you were using. Me on white. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I am only used to color snow or to fill in the empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, white crayon. Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things. Things that are colored in by other colors. All of which think they're better and brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, Black Crayon. Dear Duncan, as Green Crayon, I am writing for two reasons. One is to say that I don't like my workloads of crocodiles, trees, and dinosaurs. I have no problem and wish to congratulate you on a very successful coloring things green career so far. <laughs> the reason I write is for my friends, yellow and green crayon, who are no longer speaking with each other. Both crayons feel like they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green crayon. Dear Duncan, yellow crayon here. I need to tell you to tell orange crayon that I am the color of the sun. I would tell her, but we are no longer speaking, and I can prove I'm the color of the sun too. 
Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your Happy Farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's right here. See? I am shining down brilliantly on a, sun, on a field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true color of the sun, yellow crown. Dear Duncan, I see yellow crown has already talked to you, the big whiner. Anyways, could you please tell Miss Tyler Tale that she is not the color of the sun? I would, but, uh, well, we're no longer speaking. We both know that I clearly am the color of the sun because on Thursday, you used me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages of your Day of the Zoo coloring book. Orange and glad I'm here. <laughs> Your pal and the real color of the sun, orange crayon. Yeah, Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color this past year and the year before. And the year before that. I have really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is I am so short and stubby I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. Duncan. Okay, listen here, young man. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Be speaking of which, Please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color in her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job staying inside the lines. Now, back to us. Could you please use me to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows the could use this flash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. Hey Duncan, it's me, Peach Crown. Why did you peel all my paper wrapping off? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. <laughs> I don't even have any underwear. Why would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help! Your naked friend, Peach Crown. Yes. Well, poor Duncan just wanted the color. And of course, he wanted his crayons to be happy too. And that gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring and an A plus for creativity. The end.